How's it going guys? So you have clicked on this video because you are trying to pair your Wii Remote to your PC and you are probably hitting the speed bump right now that everybody hits. You turn your Bluetooth on in Windows settings, you go to add the Bluetooth device, you put your Wii Remote into pairing mode by hitting one and two. Oh, and look, there it is, the Nintendo device. You click it and it wants a pin. And so I read a lot of online forums when I was trying to figure this out. A lot of them said use codes like all zeros or 1234 or just let it connect and then cancel it if it doesn't work. Super, the codes don't even work and the canceling method is super inconsistent. I couldn't get it to work myself and I couldn't even imagine trying to pair up to four Wii remotes doing that. It would be miserable. So luckily for Dolphin Emulator, there is a super simple and quick solution. Um, if you're not using this for Dolphin Emulator and you want to pair this to your PC for other miscellaneous purposes, um, I will put a timestamp right next to me and I can show you how to do that. But if you're here for Dolphin Emulator, just continue watching. So as always, make sure that Bluetooth is still on. That is important. And you're going to go ahead and pull up your Dolphin Emulator. And once you do that, you're going to go to Controllers right here. Make sure Emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter is on and you have Real Wii Remote in your slot one for your one Wii Remote. Then what you're going to do is start the pairing process by hitting one and two, of course. So once this is in Bluetooth pairing mode, which now it is, you're going to go ahead and turn on continuous scanning, refresh, and then turn off continuous scanning and refresh. And this is going to connect your Wii remote every time. Right there. Boom. Player one. No idea why this works. Literally none. This is with Dolphin, Dolphin 5.08549. So if you are on this version, it is a guaranteed work. This is literally every time I go to play, this is how I connect my Wii remote. Um, I cannot guarantee this for other versions, but this does work with all four Wii remotes. Rinse and repeat the process nice and easy. That's how to get a consistent connect every time. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is disconnect this Wii remote. This is going to be for the people who you want to connect this to your PC for other miscellaneous purposes. Okay, so the Wii remote has been removed. It's no longer connected from Dolphin with what we did earlier. I'm going to turn the Bluetooth off and on again just to kind of refresh it. So what you're going to want to do if you're trying to connect this to, to your PC for miscellaneous purposes is your Bluetooth is on. This little arrow in the bottom right corner, you're going to click that and your Bluetooth symbol down here, right click it. And where you see join a personal area network, you're gonna go ahead and click that. Now you're gonna put the Wii remote to pairing mode again with one and two, start pairing it and hit add device. We'll add a device. And this is going to search for other Bluetooth devices. Oh, look at that, Nintendo RVL CNT01. That's the one, this is what we need. So you're gonna go ahead and click on that and hit next. And this is gonna ask for a passcode, just like in Windows mode, but you can just hit next. You can literally skip it. And right now it's installing and it's just gonna connect. You can't do it in Windows for some reason, but in this, in your control panel here, you can. Personally, again, with Dolphin, I prefer the prior method. It's quick, convenient. You can get four Wii remotes nice and quick. And when I did do this, I couldn't get it to work in Dolphin very well. Like Dolphin did not register it when it connected to my PC this way. So I would use my prior method if you're doing this for Dolphin specifically, but um, if you're doing this just to have a Wii remote as maybe a mouse pointer, I, I don't know what else you'd do with it. This is the way to do it. So um, now if I go to devices, where is it? Oh, right there. Yeah, Nintendo RVL CNT01. So it is connected. Um, it, it's been paired and it, is, it works on my PC now. Um, so that's the other method. And um, this also, I do have a Wii Motion Plus inside this one. This is one of the special ones. And this, this method still works. So um, there should be no issues there. But um, also bonus tidbit of information for all you lovely people out there. So a Wii sensor bar. Did you know you do not have to connect it to your PC at all for this thing to work with Dolphin Emulator? You just have to have it powered. I plug in, I just plugged it into an external USB hub. Because if you notice, you can only see it on cameras. You can't see it by eye. These things emit just like an infrared light. It's, it's all dependent on the Wii remote. So you can plug this into a portable charger. You can plug this into your PC or just an external USB hub. You can use a phone charger and plug it into the wall. But it works because it's all dependent on these lights right here here <laughs> and uh the wii remote um just just goes off of that so bonus tidbit of information for you newbies out there the sensor bar works period it just has to be powered so 
I really hope this helped you guys out. Um, yeah, feel free to drop a like. Let me know in the comments if it helped you out. If you have any questions, maybe I can do some follow-up. Help you guys, of course. But as always, um, enjoy your emulated games and uh, have a good one, guys.